good evening doctors our today's topic is acute rheumatic fever so i am going to start about acute rheumatic fever firstly the definition here what do you understand by acute rheumatic fever my dear friends it's a delayed definition is delayed autoimmune response autoimmune response send delayed autoimmune response how to understand this rheumatic fever acute rheumatic fever is caused by gp i write gp means group a group a beta hemolyticos cus streptococci group a beta hemolyticos streptococci infection caused rheumatic fever so till here i hope uh, you understand so uh, there is sign and symptoms but we are going to discuss sign and symptoms later firstly the risk factor of acute rheumatic fever risk factor include my dear friends poverty poverty sorry 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 poverty 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 my dear friends p o v e r t y poverty another one is environmental factors burden mental factors yes my dear friends repeated tonsillitis tonsillopharyngitis tonsillo pharyngitis this is repeatedly the most common age group my dear friends for rheumatic fever this disease we see only in children but rare after the age of 40 very rare okay it's seen between 5 to 15 years of age means children's disease pathophysiology now i am going to explain you pathophysiology how this disease occurs how this disease occurs okay pathophysiology if we think like rheumatic fever a patients a baby or a child uh, may be suffer from tonsillopharyngitis a pharyngitis a throat infection repeatedly thing okay this is a throat infection throat infection and there is a infection bacteremia bacteremia means infection in a blood bacterial infection in a blood then it goes to uh enter and develop the antibodies igm igm antibodies develop in 97% cases it resolve it resolve itself it resolve itself this infection resolve itself okay but 3 to 5% cases this infection this infection develops into a rheumatic fever my dear friends why why so it's develop in a rheumatic fever because here the m protein m protein cross reacts cross reacts cross reacts with each other with its antibodies and tries to kill their our own antibodies on immune system they like to kill their own immune system so i hope till here pathophysiology is clear how pathophysiology okay first the infection occur throat infection 97% it is cured by its own and only in 3% cases 3 to 4 5% cases it are on immune system like am protein cross reacts and attack are on immune system the thing that is a foreign body and try to kill against work against our good protective immune system they are try to kill so here is the jones criteria jones criteria j i write here jones j o n e s o i represent by heart i will show you 
what does it represent so many times my dear friends i have forgot so many classification i have the uh, own problem sometimes that's why i decide to took uh, some logical way john's criteria how to remember john's criteria j o n e s it's a spelling going to tell us john j j represent joint joint it arthritis arthritis my dear friends in major criteria i written here major criteria and o i represent with heart carditis carditis in fraction of heart like pancarditis and and for no doodles subcutaneous subcutaneous nodules my dear friends in nodules okay then e e represent here erythema marginatum erythema marginatum erythema marginatum is a less common on face less common on face s s represent sinden ham scoria sinden ham scoria c h o r i a these are the major criteria my dear friend these are the major criteria okay then minor criteria minor criteria include fever fever the temperature more than 38 degrees celsius fever when there is a fever so there is elevation in esr not always sometime esr rises crp rises c reactive protein also rises my dear friends and what else here prolonged pr interval on ecg arthralgia c arthritis so minor arthralgia arthralgia means pain on joint pain this include joint pain okay pr interval prolonged on ecg prr prolonged okay and r gas it g group a a streptococcal infection recent if there is an infection is recent i represent then we are going to watch like throat culture throat culture if throat culture is negative that means infection is resolved if it is positive infection is still yes and anti aso antibodies aso anti streptolysin antibodies o oh. if this is also a marker its peak value is 3 to 6 weeks okay my dear friends then anti dna is b antibodies anti dna is b antibodies okay then minor criteria major criteria how to treat how to treat we are going to treat with penicillin penicillin antibiotic if allergic to penicillin we can give erythromycin benzathin penicillin b penicillin benzathin erythromycin erythromycin so my lecture is over my dear friends so it's a time for mcqs i hope doctors are going to take part actively so i am going to ask some mcq first question listen carefully a patient with acute rheumatic carditis with fever a true statement is true statement a option is increased drop on in t b option is reduce myocardial contractility c option is sign of inflammation and necrosis d option is valve replacement with amiloride c c f chronic congestive failure cardiac cardiac failure so my question calls to dr mla answer d e. yes he is absolutely right valve replacement with amiloride because here is carditis acute rheumatic fever okay then another question true statement about the rheumatic fever in children option a is polyarthritis option b is alpha hemolytic streptococci option c one is erythema marginatum is the most common manifestation 
ऑप्शन डी इज मोस्ट कॉमन वॉल्व इन्वॉल्वमेंट इज मेट्रल वॉल्व सो माई क्वेश्चन गोज टू डॉक्टर लाल सिंह यस ही इज राइट पॉली आर्थराइटिस अनादर डॉक्टर एम एल एज ऑल्सो राइट मेट्रल वॉल ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व बोथ बोथ आर राइट हेयर दिस टाइम ओके अर्लीस्ट वलवलर लीजन इन केस ऑफ एक्यूट रोमेटिक फीवर इज माई क्वेश्चन गोज टू मदन आंसर Mother no respond. Mitral regurgitation. Okay. Which valve is least affected in rheumatic fever? Option A is pulmonary valve. Option B is tricuspid valve. Option C is mitral valve. Option D is aortic valve. They ask the least common valve. H R doctor H R. Okay. B. E. Which one? B. E. Yeah, he is absolutely right. Tricuspid no. Pulmonary is the least commonly involved. A is the answer. Okay. Then another question. Major criteria of rheumatic fever. No, such questions are very ugly. Already so many times we ask. They ask. It's very easy. Okay. Clinical feature of rheumatic fever are all except. A option is cardiomegaly. B is joint pain. C is ST segment elevation. D is increased PR interval. My question goes to Sachin, Doctor Sachin, answer. A. Yes. Now this time is right. Cardiomegaly are not going to include in this criteria. Okay. Another question. In yeah, in AIMS 2004, in rheumatic fever, which is seen? A option is Sydenham chorea. B is Huntington's chorea. C is Apheptosis, D is all. My question goes to Dr. Madan. A. Yes, Sindenham Korea. I hope only last question I am going to ask. Who is going to answer? Okay. True about rheumatic heart disease and rheumatic fever is R. So simple question. So I am going to explain only last one, my dear friends. So pay attention. Rheumatic heart disease. This is about rheumatic fever and about rheumatic heart disease. I am going to explain now. If some cases, some cases recurrent R E C U W R E N T, recurrent rheumatic fever, rheumatic fever, recurrent rheumatic fever, then it converts into rheumatic heart disease because it involves the valves. Metral valves, aortic valve is the most common. Least common is pulmonary. It develops into rheumatic heart disease, and we need to treat this disease by how? We need to treat by valve replacement, valve transplant or replacement. If it is not possible, then it, this disease is fatal. If any ways we are can't able to transplant, then this disease is very much fatal. If repeated group A streptococcal infection or patient have a recurrent acute infection, then it causes the rheumatic heart disease. So, my dear friends, that's all for today's topic. I hope you get lot of knowledge with this. Have a good day. Take care. Goodbye. Bye bye. If you like my channel, my dear doctors, so please subscribe my channel. And if you have any queries, you can ask. I am ready to answer you. If you want to study any topic, I am ready to teach. You can write your comments and suggest me how should I improve my lectures more. If you have any queries, please ask. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, put like on it. Have a good day. Goodbye.